Welcome to Hike Micro. My name is Gunnar and I have the pleasure to present two very new devices to you. Before we speak about the devices, I would like to introduce the roots of them, which is Hike Micro itself. Our headquarter is based in Hangzhou, China, where we have our production site as well as our headquarter offices. But we have more or less all around the world subsidiaries as well as repair centers to be as close to you as our customer as anyhow possible. We are manufacturers, so our devices start with an idea, then research and development comes into the game and we end the whole process with the final product. So uh, R&D was mentioned already, we produce our own housing, the processor, uh, the detector, so really everything. A major goal is to provide the best possible image quality, usability as, as well as reliability. Now I have the honor to produce the two new devices, which is first at all the new Condor. Condor is a thermal handheld and as you can tell by the 3D animation already, there is something more. We added a laser rangefinder, which can perform up to 1000 meter distance with a precise measuring uh, of roughly plus minus one meter. It's a real great comparison uh, to the thermal device because especially during nighttime and in a nighttime uh, image, it's hard to tell the distance uh, itself. The sensor, depending on the device in particular, is the 384 or the 640 sensor with 12 micron pixel pitch as well as 20 millikelvin. So it's provide really great uh, image quality, what we will see later as well. Here we see the image quality captured by the device. It's a mixed uh, group of wild boar and it's really, in this situation, it's really hard to tell maybe one of the bigger one is a male or not. And here with the very detailed image, you can see, okay, there is no male, so it's not an option to take one. Here we see the performance of 20 millikelvin again, and you can see all the little brushes uh, in front of uh, the deer. We are shifting through the uh, image modes, so like in our other devices as well. Um, and you can really adjust the image uh, to the mode you like the best or depending on situation. As you can tell by this sound, it's not only capturing the video content, but also the audio content. So you have a real video-like experience. Here on those uh, fellow deers, we saw a warm image mode. We will see it later a bit more, um, but now a real game changer is coming, uh, the zoom pro mode. So you can see, you zoom into the image and still, the shape is very clear, a very detailed image. I personally have not used uh, digital zoom in the past, but with Zoom Pro, it's a real game changer and real benefit. Here again, we have the difference between warm and cold color mode. So those playing foxes are captured in warm color mode. And here we have the cold color mode. Both have their own benefits depending on the current hunting situation. Zoom Pro and Image Pro was mentioned already, which is basically uh, to provide you the best possible image quality during your hunting experience. The whole product is designed really compact that it suits really nice to your hand. As you can see, if you grab the device, you will immediately hit uh, the buttons to operate it. And like now after half an hour, you will feel really comfortable using it as it's really um, yeah, easy to use, 
really important. We have uh, a total weight, depending on the device, of 450 uh, gram. The housing is produced by uh, high quality magnesium with a grippy rubber coating. So if you have it in your hand, it feels really uh, great and you, you feel immediately comfortable with using it. We have um, some useful, useful details like the lens cover. If you put it off the lens, you can have it here on, on the little belt. Uh, it's uh, hold in place with a magnet so that uh, it's, it's not like going around here. You have it always uh, nice and secured in place. You can open and close the lens cover without making any noises. So during a hunt, hunting experience, you can open it, close it, no problem at all, and it's always nice and secure. The device runs on 18650 batteries, which are here in the compartment. Easy to open without any noises. Old battery out, fresh battery in, close again, and you're good to go. Uh, with one battery, you can run the device up to four hours, and we have three batteries included uh, with the device. The name Condor, I said it uh, already, it's a whole series, so it's not just one device, but a whole series. Um, the C is mentioning the series itself, which is Condor. The second letter uh, gives you the information which sensor we have uh, in the device, which is in case of Condor either the 384 or 640 sensor, and the number gives you an information about the focal length. The laser rangefinder, which comes always with the Condor, is marked with the L. Which device is the best for you personally? So for your personal needs, uh, for your area, for your field of application, it really depends uh, on uh, your personal needs. So whether it's, it's the CH25 with the 384 sensor and 25 millimeter uh, focal length uh, up to the CQ50L, which is more or less the specialist for field hunting with a de detection range of 2,600 meters. Here we have the technical specs in details, including the optical magnification as well as the field of view. And with all those information, you will definitely find your personal sweet spot. That was the Condor series. Now, the second device, which is the Thunder Zoom. Thunder Zoom is a full rifle scope, and you can tell by what you see already, we have some moving parts uh, on the front lens, um, and the name includes this as well. We have optical zoom, so we have really uh, a variation in focal length um, to have more flexibility from either having a huge field of view or a very long detection range. We introduced two types of thunder zoom, which is either equipped with a 384 or 640 sensor with 12 micron pixel pitch and also 20 millikelvin, which is right now like the gold standard in our industry. The detection range uh, goes up to 3,000 meters, which is really amazing. And again, we captured some content for you to show you the performance uh, during the use. Here we see uh, deer in front of uh, the device. And now you can see again the performance of the 20 millikelvin sensor. So you can see each and every little uh, grass in front of the deer uh, when shifting uh, through the pellets. Uh, again, we have different color modes, of course, to really adjust the device to 
either your personal uh, needs or your personal favorites. That was the optical zoom we just saw. So you don't have any loss of quality because it's an optical zoom. It's not digital. So uh, you really uh, have both uh, in one device, so maximum field of view and maximum detection range. As in uh, our rifle scopes uh, introduced already, we have 10 different uh, reticle styles and you can even adjust the color. So we have four different color modes and you can really adjust uh, the device to your personal needs. A useful feature is that before the device is recalibrating, if you have it in automatic uh, recalibrating mode, it will show you a countdown so that you don't uh, are in the situation to that you are about to take a shot and then the device recalibrates and ruins the situation so you are informed in advance and uh, will not uh, place the shot during this time. A feature I personally really like is the uh, recoil activated video and audio recording. So whenever you take a shot you don't have to think about pressing a button or anything else and um, the device records the video as well as the audio. In combination with our Hike Micro Sight app, you are capable now to take the captured uh, content and just download it to your mobile, uh, take a review and then make the decision for your next steps. The Hike Micro Sight app has other benefits as well. A personal highlight is um, to that you are capable to update the device. So if there is a new firmware available, you connect the uh, device with your app and you are capable to just press a button, download the new firmware and update it immediately. You can do it basically uh, when you are out in the field because you don't need a laptop, a cable or something else. Uh, it's just by hitting one button and that's it. How is the naming of uh, the Thunder Zoom series? It's pretty similar to uh, the Condor series as before. Thunder is mentioned for, uh, the, the T is mentioned for the Thunder. Q is mentioned for uh, the detector itself. 60 in this case uh, gives you an information about the maximum focal length. Zoom, of course, the Z is for zoom. And 2.0 uh, is in the name because it shares the same housing with the Thunder 2.0. Now, if you think about to uh, get one of those devices, uh, the question is, which one is the, the best for your personal needs? And here we have both uh, devices with the fi mentioned field of application. So the TH50Z with a focal length of 25 uh, to 50 millimeter, which is already uh, a great um, option for more or less each and every hunting situation with a field of view from 9 meters to 18 meters and a detection range of 1,200 to 2,600 meters. The top of the notch device, which is the TQ60Z, uh, offers 13 to 22 meters field of view and a detection range of 1,800 to 3,000 meters. So both makes it way easier uh, to have the perfect device for the current situation as it gives you way more flexibility uh, than a standard focal length with a fixed focal length. Specs in details, uh, including focal length, weight, uh, and uh, all those details uh, are here uh, placed uh, on the chart. Now let's take a closer look to the device itself. I brought it here with me. Here we go. So you can see even with uh, 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 optical zoom, it's still a quite compact device. The optical zoom is operated with this little knob. So here we have 25 millimeters and you can turn it all the way to 50. But for example, if you need something in between, you can also adjust it to another number. So it's a real optical zoom. 
the focus is operated uh, by this ring and to tell the difference between uh, the zoom and uh, the focus ring is really easy easy even with like cold hands or gloves uh, you you will you will immediately feel if you are either on the zoom or on the uh, focus ring it's operated with the buttons on uh, top of the device one nice feature is the quick menu so you press this button short time and you have the quick and easy uh, menu uh, and not the detailed one of course as uh, it's a thermal device it runs with a battery which is here in the battery compartment on the side you open it unlock it here we go with uh, the battery uh, with the device we uh, provide two batteries uh, each battery will provide an operation time of up up to uh, six hours with two devices you have even more than enough uh, battery operating time than you need uh, in basically every think of hunting situation. As both are outdoor devices, I hope to see you next time outdoor. If you have any further questions on those devices, feel free to type your questions just underneath the video and we will answer them as quick as possible. And what's left to say is, Hikikurei and take care.